Welcome back to another discussion tour. So this is a part two of you know, the shoot game. Go watch part one if you haven't watched that. So now we have the player and the bullet. Actually, when uh, you know, like, what if it? What do we spend a lot of time, you know, about this, you know, to write player and bullet? So today I'm just gonna continue teaching you that. So first thing first. Go ahead and duplicate the player name this zombie. We'll create a zombie or me and enemy. Then clear the script right over here. Just get rid of this. Now let's work on a zombie costume. So we're just gonna call the first one normal. We'll remove this part, this part, and this part. There we go. Now it's you know look like a zombie. Let me modify this. There you go. Now we got it. Okay, we don't need it to be perfectly. Now let's paint the body of the zombie. I'll paint it green. There we go. Name is normal. The normal one. Call this strong or maybe let's call it buff. So we're just gonna make it just like Okay, so let's do uh, red. I think red would be the best. I don't know. So the last one will be fast. Let's make this blue. So right now we got three of the zombies, normal, buff, and fast. So what are we going to do here? The normal one will have like, you know, like average health and speed. For a buff one, we'll have a, you know, Decent amount of speed and uh, you know like huge amount of health. For fast, we'll have like <laughs> will be very fast. It will walk like very fast. So you can add more zombies something like that. You can add more zo zombie. So let's go ahead and script the zombie. So let's make a variable called zombie type. Make sure this variable is for the sprite only. Otherwise, the script won't work. Click on OK. There we go. Now we got it. Then another name called, I mean, I mean another variable called zombie speed. And also another variable called zombie health. So why do we need to make it for the sprite only? Basically, if you, oh, I messed up. Hold on. We need to. Zombie health and so the reason why we do this is if we make it you know for the sprite only when we clone the sprite it it can have like you know it can have their own variable that's why so yeah let's go ahead and script this thing let's go ahead and hide event when fast clicking clean uh oh okay Okay, so right over here, just gonna say hi, and then forever right over here. You just gonna say if then we'll make three because we have three zombie. So amount of if is an amount of zombie you add. For example, if you have two, you just put two if. If you have six of them, you just put six of these ones. Okay, let's go. So now add a script. So we're just gonna duplicate all these, you know, equal script. Just gonna add all these right over here. Now let's make it pick random. So we'll do one, two, four. One, two, four, two, four. If it's equal one, spawn a normal. So let's go ahead and do it. So if it's you know if it's one let's set you know the zombie type to um let's do uh okay so you know what let's do normal first 
And then the another one, I mean, like, the second one should be buff. And the last one should be fast. And then let's go ahead and switch the costume to the right, you know, the right, let's say the, the right zombie type. There we go. Now we can go ahead and wait around uh, one, one and a half seconds, I think. Wait, hold on. Okay, there we go. 1.5 seconds. Now we need to clone myself. There we go. Now we got it. So let's go ahead and work on a clone. When I start as a clone, we're just going to show this thing. And then we need to set the health and the speed for them. So let's duplicate this three times. There we go. Now we can go ahead and use these. Duplicate this. Okay, so you, if you don't know how to duplicate blocks, you can go ahead and, you know, place your mouse on a block. Here's some example. You just place a mouse on a block, and then you right-click, and you see duplicate. There we go. So now let's go ahead and modify this thing. So we're just going to put zombie type right over here. Now we're just going to make it. You know, set the health and speed. So for normal, above, and fast. So let's go ahead and set the you know the speed and the health. So zombie health for normal. Let's do three. Let's do three health. For strong, let's do six. And for fast, let's do one. There we go. And then we can put the speed. So, for example, some zombie speed. Let's make this just one. This thing should be 0 0.5. And this thing should be like, you know, more. Should be like, move faster than our zombie. So what is this script does that if it's normal it sets the health and speed <clears throat> to three and one. If it's buff it sets zombie health to six and the speed will be zero point five. And for the fast zombie health will be one and zombie speed will be five. So first let's set a position where it spawn. Let's go ahead and make it right over here. Almost like a corner. So we need to, you know, let's say random and position up like the X position. So the max X position is negative. Actually, it's wait, uh, 240 is a max. So it, there we go. Now we got it. Now the Y, uh, wait, we should put this to Y and change it this instead, I'm just confused. Okay, there we go. Now go to X position of, you know, 240. So that's like the corner right over here. So it spawned randomly right over here. And the next thing that we need to do is... Just gonna make sure it follows this, you know, this guy right over here. So we're just gonna say, um, it's gonna use repeat until, but uh, we don't need repeat until here, we just put forever now. So let's go ahead and put, you know, the script right over here. So they just say move zombie speed. There we go. And actually, I just wanted to make sure it's point toward to player. So now it's moved to the player. 
Yeah, the amount of wolf right over here, it's still following us. So as you can see, different zombie have you know different speed and health. So as you can see right over here. But right now we didn't script something yet. So let's go ahead and script more of these. And let's go to bullet. So if we're touching edge, I think we need or two so besides touching edge we need to make sure if it's touched the zombie this thing will hide so let's test it uh -oh. we need to use this thing so as you can see if it's touching the zombie it's just hiding the board so yeah the game is getting together i think i should decrease the speed of a fast thing. I mean, like the fast zombie right over here. So now we got it. And now let's go ahead to the players right, right over here and make the variable called damage. And then we'll set damage at 1 for us. There we go. It damage. And then we can go to zombie and we have another. I mean, we need uh, another condition. If touching the uh, the bullet, it's just gonna make sure the you know it change uh, zombie health. But the damage, but we need to make sure the damage is on negative. So every time, every multiply by negative one, everything will be negative. So now let's go ahead and make a little bit effects. So we're just gonna say set brightness brightness effects to 25 and wait for one second and then we'll clear the effect. Okay, let's test it out. So right now if I shoot as you can see. So right now there's the issue that if you shoot like you know. So as you can see when you shoot it stops but I think it takes too long so let's go ahead and decrease the time right over here. So yeah there we go. Now I just want to make sure you know if it's if the zombie helps equals zero. So if the zombie helps, you know, more. So we don't use equal here because, you know, if it's not equals to zero, everything just gonna broke. The zombie will go immortal. So we're just gonna make sure, you know, if the health is less than one, you're just going to delete the clone immediately. So now let's try it. There we go. Let's see. Let's see. Is it working? So they're all strong zombie. Wow. Whoa. As you can see. There we go. Now we got it. There we go. There we go. Now we got them. So yeah. Now we finish with this. So let's go ahead and make the, you know, let's make a backdrop. I'm just going to make it pretty simple. I'm just going to go ahead and create a gray background. There we go. Now we got the background. So, yeah, now we have zombie. We have anything now. So, guys, I'm just going to end the video here. I don't want to, I don't want to make the video longer now. If you guys enjoy it, you know what to do. Smash the like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Join my Discord server as well. Yeah, thanks again for watching. Bye, guys.